Welcome! In this video, we will add logic to the RSVP form block to display itself conditionally based upon whether or not the node has been RSVP enabled by a content editor. Before we jump into editing the code, we first need to add the RSVP form block back onto the site. So have your site ready to go and also have your code editor prepared. This video will complete the requirements of the RSVP list module. Let's quickly and accurately complete this task so we can celebrate our learning. Let's get started. Nice. Remember that since we recently had to uninstall and then reinstall the RSVP list module, in doing so, it removed the RSVP form block from the site. Okay, although adding a block is likely ordinary and routine at this point, after placing the RSVP form block, I do want us to view a couple of nodes in a certain order so that the effect of the code modifications we perform are emphasized. So follow along with me and let's add back the RSVP form block now. Visit Structure, Block Layout, scroll down to Sidebar First, click Place Block, find the RSVP block, click Place Block again, super! Keep all the defaults by not making any changes. Click Save Block. Back at the Block Layout page, scroll down to the bottom and click Save Blocks. Fantastic! The block configuration has been saved. Let's check to make sure the block is working. Head over to the Content area to see our list of content. In the Admin menu, click Content. Recall that currently my site is configured to allow RSVP collection on article content types. Basic pages are not configured to accept RSVPs. For emphasized functional testing, at this point, I want to view two articles. The first one with the RSVP collection set and the second article with the RSVP collection not set. In both cases, I anticipate the RSVP form block to display because we have not implemented the logic in our code yet. Remember that we had set the RSVP collection on this birthday party event. If we view it, nice. Sure enough, the RSVP form is displayed. To verify RSVP collection, let's edit the node to make sure. Expanding the RSVP collection. Why yes, we are collecting RSVP email address for this node. <laughs> Looks like I made a typo here in address. It should be addresses. We'll fix the typo when we visit our code editor soon. Cool, this is a spontaneous learning reinforcement opportunity. Take a moment and try to recall where in the code we will find this typo so that we can correct it. Okay, time's up. If you had identified the hook form base form ID alter, in the RSVP list.module file, you are correct! 1,024 irrelevant bonus points to you! <laughs> well done. Now, back at the task at hand, since we have confirmed that RSVP collection is set here on this node, let's visit the other node that does not have RSVP collection set. For that, head back to the content area. I'll click on the welcome article. So we see the block as expected. Hello. Let's edit the node to verify the RSVP collection is not set. Expand the RSVP collection. Correct, collection is not set. Before we go writing code, be sure that on your site, you have at least one article that does not have RSVP collection set and one article that does have it set. The final step of this preparation is to be viewing an RSVP enabled node that does not have the RSVP collection set. If you have been following along, we can just go back to view the welcome article node. Fantastic. Nice effort from you in preparing the site to fully experience the conditional display logic we are about to add to the RSVP form. Without further ado, head over to your code editor. 
Excellent. Before we visit the code of the RSVP form block, let's first take a moment to fix the typo in the RSVP collection checkbox. For that, open up the rsvplist.module file. Find the rsvplist underscore form underscore node underscore form underscore alter function, and within it, locate the form RSVP list RSVP list underscore enabled checkbox array. In the title key, change the typo of the singular word address to the plural word of addresses. Great. This makes more grammatical sense and is much more professional. Save the file without any further changes. Thanks for making that change. My mistake. Now, let's open up the RSVP block.php file located in RSVP list SRC plugin block RSVP block.php. Awesome. Let's do this. This is where we will add logic for the block to display conditionally based upon whether a content editor has set the RSVP collection checkbox or not. Take a moment to get re-familiarized with this code. Which method of this class do you think we need to modify with the updated logic condition? If you had determined the block access method, ding, 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 1,024 irrelevant bonus points to you. <laughs> At this point, I'm feeling generous. Congrats to those of you who have 2K irrelevant bonus points. Let's start. Scroll down and locate the block access method. Here, within the if statement, we are currently returning just the result of the allowed if has permission function. We still need to leverage this return statement code to respect the established permissions of the various roles. What we need to do is wrap this return statement within an additional if statement based on the logic of the RSVP enabler service. So follow along and code with me. Since we have a fully loaded node object already, within the if not is null statement, instantiate the enabler service with this line. Now, with this enabler service object, we can call the isEnabled method as the logic of a new if statement, like this. Nice work. Be sure the original return access result allowed if has permission statement is now enclosed within two if statements. The first if determines that the currently viewed page is a node. If it is, then we further check to see if RSVP collections are enabled on it. When both of those conditions are true, the final logic is to determine whether or not the user has permission to view the block. Only when all three of those conditions are true does the block display. Of course, if the viewed page is not a node at all, then the block will never show because of this concluding return access result forbidden statement. Exciting. We are ready to test the functionality of this logic. Double check your code and save the file. Then head on over to your site. Super. I'm going to pick back up where we left off on this welcome article. So follow along with me now and flush the cache. We are expecting this RSVP form block to magically disappear into this white background of pure, full-on digital goodness. Initiate cache clear over. Absolutely, utterly fantastic. Awesome job. This appears to be working. To further establish our confidence, let's head over to an article that does have the RSVP collection enabled. I'll visit content then click on the birthday party article. Supreme! <laughs> Confetti, oh my. Congratulations on completing the RSVP list module to a version one. Be proud of what you have accomplished here. Your disciplined efforts and what you have learned along the way will take you far. If you found this course valuable, please share it. If you would like to suggest improvements, please reach out to Acquia Learning Services. Be confident in your abilities as a Drupal developer. From myself, Dallas Ramsden, and the Acquia Learning Services team, thank you for your commitment to the craft of Drupal.